President Buhari has again reiterated that the establishment of modular refineries in the country will make petroleum products available and eliminate importation. The president made the declaration at the virtual inauguration of the 5,000 barrels per day Watersmith modular refinery and the groundbreaking ceremony for the phase two works to expand the capacity of the refinery to 50,000 barrels per day. The report now is uh, being presented from our studios. The modular refinery is a public-private partnership driven by the Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring Board and Watersmith Petroleum Refining Company Limited. The 5,000 barrel per day refinery is inaugurated by President Muhammad Buhari, who joined the event virtually. The Minister of State Petroleum, who stood in for the President, also performed a groundbreaking for the second phase of 45,000 barrel per day refinery to create an enabling environment for industry players and complement the efforts of government in job creation. The development of modular refineries represents one of the four key elements of our refinery roadmap rolled out in 2018 aimed at addressing the challenges in the downstream sector to meet our local needs and eliminate importation of petroleum products. I salute Walter Smith for their dogged determination to lead the way in changing the narrative of a public sector driven economy to a private sector driven economy. All I ask of the industry administrators and managers is to also understand that the government has the monopoly for the wrong area, which is crude oil. Please don't keep this our refinery by standing on raw materials. The 5,000 barrel per day modular refinery was conceptualized as an operational solution for increasing above ground risk first in upstream operations. This is the hub concept, which is to be able to uh, domicile development within uh, a certain area. I mean, uh, you don't have to do pipelines to export in your, 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 your crude oil. Uh, this, uh, this form of development is to be able to create a, a hub and then build a refinery, create the facilities here, create businesses within the facility. Now, as the phase one is relatively secured, we're still going through the motions to get the expansion phases to similar levels of comfort. As a matter of fact, we're fully progressing the next phase, hoping that all residual challenges will somehow be resolved in a timely manner for completion and provisioning early 2023. We believe that about 3,000 direct jobs and over 100,000 indirect and induced jobs can be created if only 10% of Nigerian oil production is refined using modular refineries. The first modular refinery in Nigeria is currently transiting into an integrated energy company with great commitment for economic diversification. Prince Oba, TVC News, Ohaji.